Shalom one. Giving all praise to the Heavenly Father whose proper name is Yahweh. Yah means he. Yahweh means this. The Heavenly Father, the Most High Power. Truly named is Yahweh. In Paleo Hebrew, who the world ignorantly calls God. God is not the name of the Heavenly Father, the Most High. <clears throat> His name is Yahweh. In the name of Yahweh Bahashem, Bahashem means in the name of Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah is the name of the only begotten Son, who the world Ill, ignorant, ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not his name. His name is Yahweh Shah. In Hebrew, all the other languages of the world are not the true language. The true language on the planet Earth that the, that the prophets speak is Hebrew. And if the, if the true language is Hebrew, then the, the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten same Son names will be in Hebrew also. So giving all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. By Hashem Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, <clears throat> who I learn from every day. The elder apostles of the Great Millstone Hebrew Israelite School. Shalom to the hopeful let me in. It's on the highways, head street corner, and on the internet, YouTube, every day, week in and week out, preaching the one hundred percent truth. The warning that the Lord, when the Lord returns, He's gonna destroy the wicked kingdom of the, of the planet earth and put all of the nations into captivity is that simple let's go to amos 9 chapter 8 verse behold behold the eyes of the lord power are upon the sinful kingdom what sinful kingdom is, is the eyes of the lord looking at this sinful kingdom wicked babylon the great america and all the wicked kings around the world but the lord goes on to say this and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. The Lord is coming back to destroy America, Babylon the Great. Off the face of the earth is going to be total destruction. <clears throat> and I will destroy it off the face of the earth. Saving that I will not utterly, utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Save the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh See, the Lord, is not, he's, not, he's not going to completely destroy the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. The Israelites, he's going to save one third and he's going to save a remnant. The elect is who is going to save. That's why the men of the Lord, like, such as myself, I'm striving to be every day. We have hope that the Lord is going to choose us. We have hope that we are of the elect and the Lord is coming back to save his elect. Let's, let's, get, let's prove that in the Bible. Matthew 24 14, I think that's it. <clears throat> Yes. <clears throat> the scripture that proved that the Lord is coming back to save his elect and his elect only is that simple. It's Matthew 24, chapter 31st verse. This is, this is Yahweh Shah speaking, the only begotten Son of our Lord and Savior, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. And it reads, And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect. That's the part right there. The Lord is coming back together, together his elect from the four winds, meaning from all four directions of the planet Earth. From one end of the heaven to the other. It's that simple. And those of us that have faith in the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, we are patiently waiting on the Lord's return. It's that simple. You can see the signs in the in the news. You feel what you see in the news through the Holy Scriptures. That's let you know that the prophecies are being fulfilled. A prophecy is something that was spoken way back that's coming to reality today. 
So, just wanted to go live right quick and do a Bible lesson. The eyes of the Lord is on the sinful kingdom, and the Lord is going to ultimately destroy, utterly destroy the sinful kingdom, Babylon and Great America, and all the wicked kingdoms of the planet Earth. But the Lord goes, He's going to send His angels, and the Lord is going to gather His elect from the four corners of the planet Earth. It's that simple. So it's the best that the so called blacks, Hispanic, and Native American Indians should come back to serving the Lord and repent. Let's get that. Acts 3 19. Acts 3 19. Acts 3 chapter 19, verse. Let's get that. Repent ye therefore and be converted. When you repent, that means you stop worshiping the false idols of this world. Sports figures, music entertainment figures, the false God, Jesus Christ and God, those are, those are the idols. You need to repent from worshiping those lies that devil talked to you through from slavery. And be converted, meaning you got to change your belief, change your lifestyle, change your ways, and be converted to come back to, to worshiping the Lord, the true Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah. Why? That your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing, and these are the times of refreshing, the Lord is refreshing the planet Earth by raising up the prophet through the Spirit. And those prophets are popping up all over the planet Earth, everywhere, in the major cities, in the small rural towns, such as this town, Shepherd, North Carolina, Lincoln, North Carolina. Lord, what I'm shouting to be in that number. When when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah. And that's the that's the, the main point of this of this day that we're living in. This is the year 2022, the year of turn up. The Lord is turning up all the prophecies. And uh giving our praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakwadas. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful let. I pray the let's be edifying to those who seeking the truth. On to the next one. Shalom. Shalom means peace unto you.